Okay, here we have the 2021 Salem FSX 179DBK. This is the video walkthrough. Up front, you have your propane tanks. All you have to do is just turn the valve on. Uh, you got your crank to raise and lower the tongue jack. Uh, you got your seven way and chains up here. Um, then coming around the side, you have your stabilizer jacks. You have your stabilizer jack there. Uh, there's four of them. Uh, there's two in the front, two in the back. Uh, then here is your storage compartment. Um, nice pass-through storage. Uh, you have your exhaust for your furnace here. Uh, make sure you don't touch that and nothing's in the way of that while you're using it. Uh, your water heater is right here. Uh, this is gas only and the switch is inside for that. Uh, you have a fresh water connection. Uh, this is portable water. Uh, if you go to a state park or if you're traveling. Uh, and the drain for that is right there. Uh, then you have a city water connection right here. Uh, that is uh, for a campground. And uh, that'll be direct water to all your faucets and your toilet and shower. Then you have your power cord right here. Uh, it just pulls out and shows back in. This is a 30 amp uh, service unit. Uh, so when you go to a campground, make sure you ask for the 30 amp hookups. When you're at home, you can plug into adapter uh, to a regular household outlet. Uh, the only thing you can't run is the air conditioner because that requires that 30 amp power. Uh, then you have your black tank flush right here. Uh, so in your black tank, there is a little spray port that'll flush it out uh, when you're dumping your tanks. Uh, and your black tank is your toilet water. Uh, and these are your sewer outlets right here. So this is for your black tank right here, the bigger valve. Uh, so that's your toilet water. Uh, then this one right here is your gray tank. And that will be your sink and shower water. Uh, keep these closed while you're camping. Uh, check the monitor panel. I'll show you that inside. Uh, but once it gets to about two-thirds full or all the way full, that's when you come out and dump them. Uh, you'll dump the black tank first. Uh, once that's emptied, close it, pull your gray tank, uh, and that'll just flush out your uh, sewer hose for you. Keep it nice and clean. Uh, you have cable hookups here. Uh, backup camera here. Outside shower has hot and cold water. Uh... Then you have a little outside kitchen here. Uh, you have a little mini fridge. You got some storage uh, and a drawer right here. Uh, then you have a couple outlets and a USB port right here. Uh, you have some outside outlets right here. Plug things in outside. And then you have the other side of the pass-through storage. Uh, and that is the crank for your stabilizer jacks. Uh, so that end will go on that drive nut. And those are only made for stabilizing. So make sure you get your unit leveled first. Uh, put blocks on the tires to level it side to side. Then use the front tongue jack to level it front to back after you're unhooked from your vehicle. Uh, then once you are completely leveled, then you can uh, crank down your stabilizer jacks. Uh, crank them down till they hit the ground or if you have blocks underneath them. Uh, once they are touching, give it half to three quarters of a crank. Just put a little pressure on it. You don't want to try and lift it up or else it will bend those jacks. Uh, so just be careful of that. Uh, last thing outside, uh, this is prep for solar charging. Uh, and so it's a little solar panel on a tripod and it just plugs in and it's like a trickle charger for your battery. Uh, that you'll use if you're dry camping or whatever. Uh, so that's a nice feature to have. All right, uh, going inside, uh, your steps, you just pull up and pull out and then this step will just flip. Uh, your grab handle right here, you just push up and twist. Uh, that's out. Alright, uh, moving in, uh, to the right you have uh, some cushions, uh, and you put those up and then you got a little couch, uh, lay the cushions down, 
Uh, unlock this part right here and that board will come down oh you might actually have to move the cushions out of here yep okay so you got to move the cushions out put those aside uh, then that'll lay flat and then you can lay your mattress down and then you got your bed uh, there's some storage above and to the side some outlets uh, you got tv hookups over here uh, and you got a tv backer uh, this button right here um there's a satellite on the roof uh, that'll pick up uh local channels uh you'll want to have that pushed on that's a booster to help get signal and then if you just have cable hooked up to the side uh, you want to make sure that's off so it doesn't interfere with the signal uh, to the left of the door when you walk in you have your monitor panel uh, right up here uh, So you push these buttons and it'll tell you how full your tanks are uh, Then you have a water pump switch if you're using your fresh water tank uh, Then your water heater switch right here Flip it on that light will come on once it goes out That means the water heater is lit if it goes out and comes back on it means it didn't light Just turn it off and try it again uh, check your gas bottles uh, light switch is here, and that switch is for the outside under the awning. Then you have your awning switch here, uh, so up is out and down is in. Uh, with the awning, you'll want to watch it, rolling it out. It doesn't stop on its own. Uh, there'll be a valance that'll fold down, um, let off the switch, and it's all the way out. Uh, you'll be able to see the bare tube. Uh, and then if it's really windy or downpouring, just roll it in. That way, no damage is caused to your awning. Uh, you got your little burner right here, uh, your cooktop. Uh, there is a sparker on this. You have to have this light on, and it's electric. Uh, now it's lit. Uh, so you, you push in, and it will start sparking, and then you just turn it to high, and it'll light right up, and then turn that off, and then uh, it won't spark anymore. Uh, you got a little stove top light and fan. Household microwave. Uh, this down here, this is where the heat will come from the furnace. And you got a bunch of storage in your sink right here. More storage above. Uh, your air conditioner right here, pretty simple. Uh, you got low fan, high fan, low and high cool. <coughs> <coughs> Then you got your temperature control, more storage, your dinette seating, um, and that'll fold down into a bed. Then you got the bunk area and more storage underneath there. Uh, here is your thermostat. You only got one switch. I uh, turn it to the right, and then you got your temperature control. Uh, then push it all the way to the left, and that is off. Uh, make sure that is all the way to the left when you're not using it or storing it for the winter. Uh, then your fridge right here, uh, this is uh, electric only, it runs off your battery, uh, so make sure you keep it plugged in, or if you're not using it uh, for a while, uh, make sure you turn the fridge off, uh, you just come in here and hold the set button, uh, that's your on off switch, uh, you just hold it until the lights go out, actually I'll turn that off right now and show you, so you just hold it, it says 10 seconds but it takes a little bit longer. All right, just like that, and now it's off. And you do have a little handle lock right there. Uh, all right, last thing is the bathroom. Uh, so you got your sink here, storage, medicine cabinet with some storage. Uh, your toilet right here. You have a foot lever on the side uh, right there. Uh, press it a little bit, it'll add water. Press it all the way, it'll flush it. Um, <laughs> then you have your shower uh, Then you have a vent with a fan in it uh, And then your light is just a push button in the center uh, And that is everything to do with the 2021 Salem FSX 179 DBK